Customize your store. It's important to give your store its own personality, especially its own look and feel. To customize your store and to make it unique, click on the Store button on the left-hand side menu on the dashboard page. From here, select the Settings option from the drop-down menu, and it's on this page that you will be able to customize your store. On the General tab page, you can change the details of your store, including the name of your store. This is where you can add your logo. Make sure the logo is available on the computer you are working on, as you will need to browse for it. You'll be able to adjust your logo to fit the required space available. Once you're happy with the position of the logo, click on the Crop and Save option found in the top right-hand corner of the page. If you would like to change the currency that you trade in, you can do so on this page. For South African rands, please choose ZAR. You're also able to choose the language in which you would like to communicate to your customers. A drop-down menu will appear from which you can choose a language option. It's important to give your customers information that they would like to know about your store. Often customers are hesitant when making their first purchase at a new store, so the About section is where trust is built. So the more information you can give, the better. Keeping your address and contact details up to date is important in e-commerce. To edit these details, fill them in in the spaces provided. Make sure that there are no spaces between the numbers of your telephone number when entering. Support contact information is necessary, as customers like to know that there is someone they can chat to when they need help with a purchase. This information must be correct and kept up to date. To build your social media community and for customers to find out more about you and any future offerings, insert your social media addresses and handles. Once you're finished and satisfied with the information you have provided on the general page, click the Save button in the top right-hand corner to save all of your changes and proceed to the next page. Now it's time to give your store its personality. Once you've clicked on the Design tab, you will be able to choose a theme from the ones provided. Choose the one that best suits the look of your store. Once you have decided on a theme, you can begin designing the home page. Start by choosing a picture, one that can be found on your computer, or you can choose from the gallery provided. From here, you will be able to adjust the picture to the way you want it to look. When you're happy, click the Crop and Save button in the top right-hand corner. You will be directed to the Design page. Now you can begin adding text to your page. You'll be able to see in the example given where the text will appear on the home page. Begin with a headline, which could be a welcoming message to the store. The text option should be a sentence about what the store has to offer, and the subheading should entice the customer to view items on the store. Once you are happy with the look of your home page, the picture, and the text, click on the Save button in the top right-hand corner. If you require any further information, please visit www.standardbank.co.za forward slash simplyblue.